Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick, effective technique to create a ghostly image in a photo. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Choose a relatively dark photo for your environment. Then go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Your photo should have a bit of noise or grain. This photo already has some, but we'll add just a bit more to it. Choose Gaussian and Monochromatic. Choose an image of a person you want to be the ghost. If it has color, press Control Shift plus U or Command Shift plus U to desaturate it. Next, we need to draw a selection around the person. You can use a brush, pencil, pen, or a lasso tool to do this. To save time, I already prepared my selection. Once you have it, press Control or Command plus J to cut and copy it onto its own layer. We need to get the cutout image of the person onto our ghost document. Press Control or Command plus A to select the entire image, and Control or Command plus C to copy it. Click on the tab of your background to open it, and press Control or Command plus V to paste the image onto your background. Let's reduce its size. At the top, click on the chain link to link the width and height. For this image, I'll type in 36%. With my Move tool, I'll move it into position and then press Enter or Return. We'll make a copy of it. Press Control or Command plus J. Let's hide the original layer by clicking off its eyeball. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. The angle is 0 degrees, and for this image, I'll choose a distance of 30 pixels. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Wave. The Wave window will open. The number of generators is 1. The wavelength is 717 to 853. The amplitude is 1 to 200. The scale is 100%. The type is Sine, and Repeat Edge Pixels. Reduce the opacity to 50%. Hide the wavy image and make the original image visible and active. Let's rename it Original. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy and go to Filter, Distort, and Diffuse Glow. The Diffuse Glow window will open. We'll choose a gradient of 6, the glow amount is 9, and the clear amount is 20. We'll rename it Diffuse Glow and reduce the opacity to 60%. Drag the diffuse glow layer above the wavy layer, make the wavy layer visible and active, and we'll rename it Wavy 1. To reposition it, press V to call up your Move tool and move it. I want to bring this wavy layer a little closer into the original, so I'll press Ctrl or Command T to call up the Transform tool, rotate it, and reposition it. We'll make a copy of the wavy layer and reduce the opacity to 40%. We'll go back to Filter, Distort, and Wave. Keep the same wave parameters and click OK. Let's make the Diffuse Glow layer less intense and more ethereal. Click on the Diffuse Glow layer to make it active, and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask. Go to Filter, Render, and clouds. The clouds effect in the layer mask does a great job blending in the diffuse glow. Our last step is to give the entire image a cold otherworldly color. In the layers panel click on the adjustment layer button and choose hue saturation. Click on colorize and type in 188 for the hue. Click on the clipping mask icon. Notice the adjustment layer slid to the left. The adjustment layer now affects all the layers under it not just the one layer directly below it. Using these techniques, have fun creating your own haunting spirit. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.